Camera's all messed up per usual. Anyway, hold on. Always, just always, every single time. I like, I do get this ready first. And it always breaks. But anyway, hey, hey, who we call y'all? Hey, honey buns, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here ever, welcome for the first time. And welcome to Second Life 101. If you are here, say hi in chat. Cause you know, we usually spend a couple of minutes saying hello to people when we first get here. So let's do that first. Let me pop my chat out and see who's here. Um, I saw I saw my early crew hanging out super early. Let's see. I see Mary, Teams, Amaya, It's B, Panda. Wait, Panda? Oh, two pandas. Red Panda and Panda. <laughs> Nikia? Nika. Nika. One of those days. Leah, Maya, Camaro, Heather, Sebastian, Logan, Flabette, Erica, Amanda. The bangs came out because... I'm late today and I didn't do my makeup. <laughs> hey, Ty, Holly, Amaria, Jazzy, Izu, Yo-Yo, Leah, Erica, Namaste, Rebecca, HW, Mindy, Mina, Lavish, Sunny, Amira, Pinky, Sushami, Miracle, B. Hayes. <laughs> hey, girl, you up late. All right. I'm going to grab headphones. Can you see it? Like, my room is a mess. Hope y'all can't see it. But anyway, welcome to Second Life 101. Usually on Wednesdays, what we do, if you're new here, is we explore something where, I don't know, it used to be catered toward new residents, but I feel like I'm always learning from you guys and we're always talking about something new. So today I wanted to talk about how to kind of create jobs or how to just use jobs in a role play community specifically to either meet people, have fun, make friends, or to make money, or Lindens. <laughs> people can't say teams? Thank you, Panda. I mean, it's not that I don't have any makeup on. We put some foundation on this face. I just don't have lashes or any of that fun stuff on. <laughs> but how are you guys? How have we been since, when, when did I see y'all last? Sunday? It's been a while. It feels like it's been a very long time. I do have Mila online, so I'm going to grab her. And I am going to be showing you a lot of stuff in Bayside, but I honestly think a lot of these concepts apply to kind of any role play sim or any community sim. I, I, I probably focus more on community sims um, just because, like, there's, there's a slight difference. I'll go into the differences in a second. I live in Bayside, so I own a couple of sims. I own total four full sims but we're trying to cut that down to three so i could bring all of them over to bayside um but currently have two in bayside and we'll go we'll go there well we're here this is where i am let me let's get mila shall we oh you got an apartment here <laughs> all right i feel naked when i don't have a watch on my wrist look at this camera's messed up too honey and I don't know why sometimes my stream just really gets stuck on a couple of names and keeps them there for weeks. And I always forget to get in here and take care of that first. What are you going to do? All right. So here's Mila. Let's, let's get some sun over here, honey. But this is kind of a 
chill stream. I feel like I've done a few on role play and how to role play and all of that good stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. Can we talk about this, Alex? <laughs> I have switched to Laluca after months of owning a few of the heads just sitting in my inventory, hanging out, never wore them. Shout out to Uni who made me a couple of shapes. I didn't end up using them. Like I put this head on and struggled. It was very different from Genus. I wish I recorded it because it was not easy for me to switch, but yeah, whole new head. I had to create a whole new shape, but um, she's coming along. I'm gonna be tweaking her for months. This is usually what happens when I get a new head. I end up tweaking it for months until I get something I like. Oh yeah, I bet they do. <laughs> she look a little different. <laughs> I got a mirror right here because I literally just finished putting on lip gloss. Yeah. I've been posting pictures. I was like, who's gonna notice? <laughs> Thank you, I do like it. There's one picture I took of her the other day and I put it like on a side-by-side -side with my real life picture. Not the one I just posted on YouTube, but another one. And I feel like she is a cross between my old avatar and like real life me. I know B. B, I was like in your um, highlighter all day yesterday taking pictures. So now I gotta come over and get some new makeup for Luluka. I have Nova. Honey, it was a struggle. I ended up, so I had to completely stop what I was doing. Cause at first I had Uni create a shape for me and then I went to Marketplace. Um, not cause I didn't like hers, I loved hers. It's just like, you know, when it doesn't like feel like you, I feel like it doesn't feel like me if I don't create it. So then I had to like stop buying shapes and then I just like sat there. I started with the shape that came with the body or came with the head and then I tweaked it from there. Uh, nope, Miracle, you just have to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to talk about all of that today. So um, a couple of notes about role play communities in general. I don't know how many of you guys have actually like role played before. Role play now feels so different than it did when I started Second Life. And I feel like it's because there's just not like a general consistent consensus on what it's supposed to be. And granted, like your role play is your role play. You can play it however you want. And we try to we try to keep that alive in Bayside. Like I don't want to create too many role play rules. Granted, we have a couple of rules that are just like general rules that you can find on the website. Um, and that goes over just like things like not determining other people's actions for them. Overall, it's just like play nice. As long as you play nice, you know, we don't care. Um, and I think that's the story with most community sims. Um, and when I say community sims versus role play sims, a lot of role play sims have this like overall like background story. They have a very specific lore to them. Um, a lot of them make you apply before you can actually role play there. Whereas community sims, they are role play focused in the sense that you're like playing a character, but you know, you don't necessarily see people talking in role play speak all the time. You kind of just see them playing and having fun. So that's kind of what I'm focused on when I talk about like these community sims versus role play, like community where you can just like either build a story or just live your second life or do whatever you want to do. Oh, congrats, Logan. Everybody go follow Logan <laughs> or subscribe. Why do I keep getting the language wrong? We have several other Second Life YouTubers here. We have B Hayes, It's B, Logan. Am I missing anybody? Flabette, I feel like you must have had Laluca to begin with. If you started, so I, my journey has been Catwood, Genus, Laluca. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Okay, so when it comes to working on community sims. Oh wait, so that's the other thing too. I think I see a lot of the time, um, the reason that I really liked role play when I started, hey Shallon, is that you can really just kind of take control and do what you want to do. And I wanted to keep that alive in Bayside. And I know that's what a lot of community sims do. They kind of just like leave it up to you to build your role play and your story and your life the way you want without giving you too many rules. While that's awesome, cause like it sounds great. You don't have to like subscribe to someone else's rules. It can be a little challenging to figure out exactly how to jump right in or, you know, how to make connections or how to get customers or how to like chat like that. Um, I'm wearing Nova. <laughs> I feel like I should have done a whole like Laluca video before even proceeding. <laughs> um, Zoe, well, I'm gonna go over a lot of how we set it up. I think it, it could be used to apply to your own role play sim. I think it's useful. Um, I'm trying to figure out a time when to actually and how to actually structure my video on role play or our building communities. Um, I haven't been having that much trouble finding makeup. I have to do a video. We're we're stuck on this. We're stuck on this Nova head right now. <laughs> we're not gonna get past it. I should have done this video first. All right. 
So I'm going to talk first about it from like the lens of Bayside, I think, and then we'll talk more about it just in general and how you can use some of these same concepts on other Sims. I am going to put on some music though, because I feel like it's too quiet. What am I hearing? I'm hearing like the chatter at Faith and Flower or Aroma, wherever we are. We need music. We need music. Oh my gosh, B, you have to. I'm gonna, so there's two little tiny, this is a secret for B and like, I guess the other 97 of you listening, but there's these little tiny little crates over here. And I feel like these would be cute little like, you know, tiny houses. So I'm probably going to finish something up over here and make these for rent for like little cheap houses. Whatever. That's just for me and B to know and everybody else. <laughs> hey, Alexa. I am so happy we are not talking about anything appropriate because I feel like every time a Linden pops up, I am ranting on about something ridiculous. All right, let's get some music going. We're going to get some happy music. <laughs> the first song that comes up is called Be Bedroom. <laughs> Whatever, we're going to go with it. All right, let's get the vibe. Let's set the mood. There we go. So you can hear it too. <laughs> that was just that was just a secret for me and B. <laughs> I can get away with sharing secrets in a room full of how many people watch right now? 108. <laughs> That's our little secret. Okay. See, I'm here with you. Those are those are my favorite parts too. I'm gonna leave my AFK thing on. Cause I heard somebody talking to me earlier and I was like, who's that? But I was across the room. Michelle, are you the one that's up on the hill? Okay, I'm distracted. So let's start off. I'm gonna start off on a web page, actually, because I think I think that'll be easier for me. Hold on. Where's my Chrome? Do I have to make a new Chrome? Why does OBS hate me? Let's just make a whole new Chrome. Because I have it set up on the website that's kind of in a way that I think will be easier for me to walk through. So let's do that way. And let's move this all the way down. Okay. It's all little. Oh. Wait, sorry, I'm gonna have to like... Did I leave my YouTube studio? Why we do this? Well, you guys see it all. <laughs> Ignore this part. All right, I'll just hide it. It's not pretty. I lost my my like control room so I could chat with you. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Let me pop this out real quick. Okay. Gone with that. All right, I'm back here. Keep y'all Jeeps. Oh, I get mine from Indulge Automotive, and then I also have one from Lush Motors. All right, so let's look at it. I'm, I'm on the Bayside website. I'm going to go to Bayside City Jobs. <laughs> All right, so this is how we do jobs in um, Bayside. I feel like it's a cool idea. It makes things really easy on us. So if you do have a role play sim or a community sim, this might be useful for you. We have a couple of different types of job. We have learn Linden earning jobs. Sorry, this is one of those songs I know I'm start singing. So I gotta turn her down a little bit. <laughs> Y'all ever have songs like that? Like, you know, you're just gonna start going for it. All right, um, so we have Linden earning jobs where you could potentially make money in a various in various different ways. For the Linden, Linden earning jobs, we have either jobs that you have to apply for because there's a certain condition that we expect to be met, or you have jobs that you could just like hop over and hop on a tip jar and kind of make it your own. And then we also have strictly role play jobs. And those, although they're not for money, they are kind of essential for a city just in terms of like residents having fun. 
And there are a lot of people that aren't in Second Life to work for money. They kind of just want to have fun. Like, I honestly like having jobs in Second Life. And sometimes I like having the gritty jobs that I never got to experience in real life. Like, I've never worked in a restaurant in real life. But I love doing that kind of stuff in Second Life. I wouldn't want to work in a restaurant in real life. Y'all know I'm not that good of a people person. But, you know, I could fake it for an hour and go then go on about my business. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Ray was helping me build this whole sim. So she's been busy. <laughs> All right. I'm out of water. So. All right, so what we have here, usually what we do is if there's something that we need to really fill quickly, we put up a hiring alert. Um, for us, we feel like a newspaper is kind of essential to the city. It helps us like push along role play. It helps us share your stories. Um, so yeah, we put those here. We have a job description. We have general requirements. For us, we used to use applications and we got rid of them. I personally don't like filling out applications in real life. I didn't want to be filling them out in Second Life and I sure didn't want to be like reading them and opening them. So right now, everything related to Bayside, we say send it to Zane. All of these, if you're interested, send it to Zane. So it's really simple. Um, and then we look for things where people can kind of take control and make it their own. Like we don't want to have to, I don't know, like force our ideas on you. Like, you know, it, it's really weird. If it were just me and Reyna making up all the rules, the city wouldn't really move forward. So we do leave things pretty broad. Um, you know, you go for it. <laughs> um, and then we have a bunch of other types of positions. So we put all of our locations here. For us, the Vanderbilt is the only one where you do have to apply. That's like our focal business in Bayside where it's just, a, they're restaurants. So people come, they book a waiter or waitress. Um, you serve them. You work on a set, like rates and also tips. Zane, so you better stop breaking into your old house. <laughs> um, but then we have all these other, so these type of things. So we have um, a couple of places where it's almost like you're freelancing. So we have Bayside Medical Group, Bayside Fitness, we have Big Bear Fitness, and all of these are jobs where you have to kind of manage your own clients. And this kind of comes from my experience just running clubs. We wanted to set it up very similar to how we do the club. Like we have a central location where people can come and find your services, but overall you're the one to select your services, when you want to work, what you want to charge for things. And we have training in all of these locations to give you an idea of what like people may be expecting, but overall you can kind of make it your own. Amaya, honey, I got all my inspiration for that hotel. <laughs> Trust me, that hotel has been planned for years, we'll say. There should be a hot man delivery. Someone do it. Um, so yeah, Bayside Medical Group, it's one of those. You can play a nurse, a doctor. We have a receptionist role, but I really don't know how that would make money. I feel like you would just, you would just be there for the fun of it. Um, but basically, as a doctor, you set your own rates and services. For example, there are a lot of people who do pregnancy in Second Life. There are a lot of people who do pregnancy in Bayside because I keep trying to get us all knocked up at the same time. So offering pregnancy things are pretty popular with us. Also, we all use Zeolife and the clinic is completely Zeolife enabled. So if your stats go down to zero, like all of ours do, um, you can always schedule an appointment with a doctor. I've done that a ton of times. And I've also been with a doctor who's prescribed me Zeolife medicine so I could get better. I also had like a long stay in the hospital because my fit, my health was at zero. <laughs> so there are lots of things that you can do as kind of a doctor or a nurse. And that's on any sim that has some sort of like medical facility. Um, so, you know, kind of create that role play for yourself and just make use of... Yeah, apply for what? For medicine? You don't apply. You just literally walk in, read read the training. I did make training. It has pretty much, I'm pretty sure every question you could think of answered. Um, so you just go in, you put up your rates, you put up a photo on the page board so people can contact you easily. And then you kind of, for this, you want to have a presence. I think the biggest mistake I see when people start working role play jobs is that they'll like throw up a board, say that, showing that they're available, but they'll never spend any time at the location where they're role playing. If you don't spend time there and like people don't see you there and they can't like drop in on you sometimes, they're just not gonna know you exist. So what I've seen people who are successful at it do is they'll go there for their shift, like actually come to the sim, hang out at the clinic, start to get to know other people that work at the clinic, and then also like let our role play groups know that you're working. Like if you're starting, you're starting a shift between a certain amount of time, 
like shove that into a role play group. Zeo Life is free. It's XEO. We have um uh Hudgiver at the landing in Bayside. Yeah, Zeo Life is everything in Bayside. <laughs> I feel like everyone I've seen does it. B, I was just thinking about jury duty. I don't it's B. I don't know if you noticed. You have a parking ticket. But I think I'm gonna do jury duty in the same way. Like I delivered B's parking ticket. I'm gonna just give random people jury duty. <laughs> but yeah. Recommendation one, actually spend time on the sim where you want to role play and where you're offering any type of service, whether it be role play or Linden earning. Spend time there, you know, get active in the role play group so people know you're there. And then, you know, even at times, like, do some sort of, I say event, like it's not a party type of event, but if you're like a doctor or something, you know, maybe you're giving out flu shots for the day that'll help people with their zeal life help. Or, you know, maybe you're doing a free consultation for, some plastic surgery situation like i would say just get really creative that's like the cool thing about role play is that you really can get creative and kind of play whatever you want to play i like the idea of jury duty but i had jury duty once and it was on some like bs case and i remember they were like talking about what the case was and the lawyer started like looking at the jury and i was the first one to be dismissed and i was like was my face saying something because i was siding with i was siding with one person very clearly from the beginning <laughs> I'd be afraid to be like on the jury of a murder. <laughs> oh my god, me, did you get a real ticket? Actually, should I cam over? Is your car still there? I was like, I cannot wait for B to find the sparking ticket. I gave out two, but someone else already moved their car. But look at this is B's parking ticket. Only B can remove it. <laughs> These are my new favorite things in the city. So if you see yourselves getting parking tickets, you're welcome. All right. I don't know why Mila's whole butt cheek was out just now. I'm trying to be. Oh, wait. You, you didn't even see that. I got the thing in the way. Let's do it again. I honestly want somebody to role play as a meter maid. I will give you the ability to put these tickets. You can't see the text right now. It's not resing. But only B can take it away. <laughs> it literally just says like parking violation. This car is parked illegally. And also like, look at you, taking up all the parking spaces. All right. Let me get my Chrome back. <laughs> I do that often. Okay, the other job, so we have like fitness, that's for people who like SML or just like role playing as a trainer. We use the SML and Zeo Life pretty interchangeably. SML is a system where you actually have to like use the equipment, you have a HUD, it'll tell you what workouts you need to complete as like your tasks. You can level up, it's cool, it's free. All the money that you need for the actual system is our coins that are in the game. So it's pretty cool. Um, I use Indulge Automotive a lot for my cars. I would definitely say check them out. <laughs> yes, me. Um, Bayside Fitness is very similar to like the medical group. So I, I love this idea of just being able to go into a place and get started without, without any hold up or without any need to apply. So I'm just gonna cam over to kind of what that looks like. So again, you don't have to apply to be a doctor here. You don't have to apply to be a personal trainer. For us, like there's literally, you just click here. This gives you all the information that you need to know. I mean, there's a lot of information here. There's a whole lot. I did a lot of writing. So if you come to me and ask me questions on this, I'm gonna be like, is it a note card? Um, but this is also, it explains it, but it also like gives you some recommendations for type of services you can offer, some ideas on pricing and then general rules. And then if you need training on the actual facility and how to use the space, there's actual training here. And then literally all you do is you take one of these boards that my computer doesn't want to render right now, but you take one of these boards, you list it with a note card that has your services, your prices, information on how to contact you, general idea of when you work or when you're available. Um, so that's that. It's the same thing in the gym. I actually copied all the same stuff over. 
For me, because like I can't imagine, there are like dozens of businesses in Bayside. I couldn't imagine trying to train everyone for those positions or go through applications for all of those. So as a sim owner or a community role play community, 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 I'm not to say community. Um, it's very easy to make a system that's really self-sufficient. Yeah, get you a little like doctor coat, a little lab coat. <laughs> Yeah, Jacob, you can. A lot of people do that. If you are a 3D artist and you know how to make mesh, you totally can. It's a whole lot of money in creation in Second Life. What I'm talking about is for those of us who can't do all that. <laughs> we, we just make money from being people, people. I say that in air quotes, because... Yeah, my. All right. Um, other things, oh wait, so this one is a slightly different concept, but also a really easy way to just go in. So we're one, a fan of the jobs where you can just go list your services and you can get booked. So that's what Bayside Fitness, Bayside Medical are about. They're really like booking very specific services. Um, the other option is just to like stroll up into a place and log into a tip jar and like make your money that way. Uh, we have another place called Big Bear in Bayside. This is just an example of something like this, but granted, you could do this when you're creating your own sim or if you kind of role play anywhere that offers this. I, I strongly suggest anyone that owns a sim to kind of offer something this easy. Um, of course, the plus side is it's really easy for people to go in and earn money, and they're gonna earn money for us. How good they, you know, for determined dependent on how good they are and. <laughs> how professional they are so that's kind of incentive for them to act right but granted you have no control over it you're not there you don't necessarily know who's working um of course all of these systems that are tip jars usually have some sort of reporting but a lot of times i have no idea who's been working like i'm not checking it <laughs> but this is like big bear so basically big bear is a fitness studio where people can come in and they can i don't think it's gonna res out because i'm not close enough but if I wanted to have a class, oh wait, here it is. I can have any sort of like class I want. So if I wanted to do a Pilates class, I could come here and do a Pilates class. Um, I could do a spin class, but most importantly, I can be an instructor for a spin class. And for us, this is Zeolife enabled. So all of the machines here give help with Zeolife stats. So they'll increase your health, but they will just like a normal workout, make you tired, you'll get thirsty. Um, you're getting healthier, but you know, some of those other stats are going down. So there are all these things that you can do while you're working out. Like you can get energy drinks or you can take a protein shake or you can wear sweatbands. So it's really like the job of the instructor to make the role play fun. So like you're in your class. I've seen, I've heard people do it on voice and I've seen people do it in text as well. They're like hyping you up. They're just playing along with you. Um, but they're also like, if your stats get real low, they're like, you're looking tired, honey. You better take a sip of your drink or something like that. Um, so it's really easy to host a class and if you want to make some money while doing it, you can log in. Usually what I recommend for these type of things where you're hosting a class or something is have people pay in advance. Um, you can announce very easily in our role play group, like, Hey, hosting a spin class. It's a hundred Linden per person come over. Um, and then people can like pay you first and then get prepared to work out with you. For Big Bear, they also do pay for a class, so just keep that in mind. Um, but we still have recommended rates. You can charge what you want to charge, though. <laughs> the kitty store. This one, this is a cafe. We're gonna talk about businesses too in a second. Um, but that's another idea where technically it could be self-service. So someone could just co come in here and have a class and not have an instructor. But it's always nice in a community, especially to kind of have instructors and that's how you meet people and just have fun that way. I've also seen people hosting classes just for fun. Um, not necessarily anything to do with London, but you could do it either way. And that's another job. You don't have to apply. You walk in and do it. For us, after you've had five classes, we'll add you to the Big Bear group as like an official employee. And there you go. But either way, you um, can earn money pretty easily. What else we have? A lot of these are also just like kind of general. So there's a cafe in Bayside. It's the same thing. It's just a tip jar there. And you could just walk in and earn money. Um, for these jobs that are like 
based on tips, my biggest recommendation is to actually spend time there. I've seen people like log into a tip jar for five minutes and then leave because no one popped in. But of course, you know, they didn't mention anything to anyone. For a lot of these places, especially when you're in a city as big as Bayside, people aren't just gonna like know where you are or know that you're role playing something. They might think you're just like sitting at home. Um, so usually what we recommend is that you go there, you let our role play group know that you're there. And even sometimes just, you know, hosting some sort of event. If you're gonna go work in the cafe, it's kind of cool to maybe, oops, sorry, I lost my chat. But it's a good idea to, like, I don't know, do something interesting, like, I don't know, what do people do at cafes? Like coffee night or book club or open mic, like anything that you want to do um, to bring attention so you can actually do something cool and earn some tips. Yes, honey, we need a dance class. Hey, Joseph. I don't speak Spanish. Is that what that is asking me? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so anywhere that has tip jars, so Mila's Cafe has tip jars. There's actually um, a business in the food court park, which I'll show you in a minute. It's like a little taco truck that's owned by someone else, but they have a tip jar out that you're welcome to just like go log in and make tips. Um, what else is tip based? I think that's it for Bayside. I know there are a lot of other businesses. I put something here. If you, you do have a business and you want to submit your jobs, you can submit them. But there are lots of places around the city where you, all you have to do is just go show up and log into a chip jar. And that is reminding me, I still haven't put tip jars in otaku. <laughs> My bad. Oh, someone speaks Spanish. Someone here does, Zane does. Um, Nia, just to begin, you'll need an ad because you won't be able to log into a tip jar until you have that set up. So it'll just requ require that you set up. You don't have to apply for anything. You just have to like, kind of get your stuff in order. So you're completely organized by the time a patient will come to you. <laughs> and I know, I've heard I speak a mile a minute, so I'm sure that doesn't help if you don't speak English. <laughs> um, other things that you can do that are easy in Bayside. I haven't seen this in a couple of months, but we used to do like Ubers and taxis quite often. If you have a city where people can drive around, Uber and taxi is super easy and it's something that people can do on their own accord. So usually for how we do it is if you're, if you need a ride, I think we're gonna create a separate group for it. Like we're gonna create a Bayside like transit group or transport group. So if you drive a car and you wanna give other people rides, people can just chat in when they need a ride. You can respond if you're available or if you're kind of like lurking around the city looking for someone to ride, you can always say in the group that you're available and you're giving rides if anyone needs one. What I miss. But yeah, for that, that's completely up to you. Um, it could be just for fun, or you can ask for tips, or you can let people know what the solid rate is. Oh my God, B, I know. <laughs> this one's new too. I think this is gonna take a little bit more organization on my part, but if you're the sim you role play on has any sort of food service, food and beverage delivery is also another easy way I'm also talking about all the things that I would want, like me sitting up on Mila's house, sitting around, knowing that she needs food for her zeal life, but doesn't want to go down to like a restaurant. You can always have someone go to a restaurant for you. They can charge whatever their delivery services, plus the cost of the actual food. And real easy, you got yourself a little delivery job. <laughs> and like for that, you don't necessarily need um, a car. You could do it on a bike. You could just walk it over, do you boo. <laughs> All right, so let's get into kind of the role play jobs. So for us, we have a police department. I know a lot of community sims have either police, fire, both of them. Uh, we don't have a fire department yet. I'm not ready for it because y'all know a lot of these like role play sims with fire departments, you can actually like set the houses on fire. We're not there. We're not quite there yet. <laughs> so once I get that all sorted, we'll have one. Oh my gosh. I need to work out at Big Bear because I think Mila's health is on like 20. Um, but Bayside PD, that's our police department. You don't have to apply for anything. All you have to do is go there, join the group. We are currently hiring a police chief though. So that'll be someone who kind of administers the police department group. So you'll be the one who sees people coming in. You can offer training if you want to and just like have 
fun role play as police. I know nothing about police. It took me like 40 minutes to even figure out what all the titles meant. I was like, what is a captain? Who's a chief? What, what? What's a detective? Who's an officer? I don't know anything about it. So I can't tell you how to role play as a cop, but if you want, go do your thing. All we say is like, make it fun. I know a lot of times when people role play as police, it gets very serious. We're, we're not gonna be that serious in Bayside. <laughs> I know Zayn wants to set a house on fire. <laughs> we also have a role play um, like newspaper. So we do have a, like a newspaper on the site. These have so far all been written by me. And honestly, I don't have the time to keep writing newspaper articles every day, but we have a bunch of like news that's going on in Bayside. So right now we're currently looking for someone to serve as an editor. And then of course people to write articles as well. So that's always a great idea for community sim is to one, have a newspaper because it really does help push role play along and help people get involved. But again, it needs people to write and people to come up with ideas. So we, we leave that to our residents. It's totally up to you guys how you want to see your newspaper develop. <laughs> and we also have just random places around town like the gas station. This was my kind of thing. When I used to go to different role play communities, I used to always find just like places where I could sit around because people would just like walk up and role play. Um, so the gas station has a little attendant booth. There's even like where I'm sitting right now. Let me see. Ooh, excuse me. Where I'm sitting right now is the Roma Cafe. You could always even role play as like a little attendant here. All of the role play um, or all of the jobs in Bayside have furniture that also helps with Zeo Life stats. So this stool here, if you sat on it, it's gonna give you the same type of stats. If you were to sit in a chair in the police department, it's going to increase your chair because we're assuming you kind of like your job, but it will eventually make you tired over time. Um, I think those are the only two it affects. But yeah, pretty much everywhere you sit in Bayside or anywhere you could work in Bayside is also contributing to your ZO life stats. And then there's stuff like, what else did I say? It was the gas station. I remember this, My one of the last places that I role played had a theater, like a movie theater. And I used to always be the girl sitting out front, like selling tickets, but she had like a little bit of an attitude problem. So it's always fun to like bring some sort of character personality to these roles and these positions. It just like makes the city more fun and come to life. Um, so I used to always, I was the sassy little theater girl who couldn't be bothered and didn't want to get you popcorn. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. I don't know, Brandon, until I'm bored. Um, we also have little places like this. Like this is our little market that's scarce, I know. I'm gonna make these shelves available this week though so people can sell more products. But I mean, you could always be like a market person. Also, this is a pretty, a hot spot in Bayside because people are always here buying food for their Zeo Life stuff. And there are different people that sell food here. So a lot of people in town, like literally, even from my little refrigerator, I get notifications like every few minutes of people buying food for Zeo Life. And it's super cheap. It's all like 10 to 20 Linden. Um, but it's going off all the time. And of course, we're going to put more things on the shelves. But you could always work as like a little shop. What do they call these? I always say shopkeep, but I feel like that's rude. <laughs> you can be a shopkeep. Um, <laughs> but what could be cool too, is if you want to actually, if you like making Zeo Life products, you could always sell them in the shop and also kind of be the shopkeep and kind of push your own products to people coming in and have that just role play experience and build those connections. Oh my gosh, honey, we need the plastic surgery ones. <laughs> Otaku is what I was talking about earlier. So it's the rooftop lounge in Lil Tokyo and of course you could be a bartender. I forgot why I stopped because I was configuring this as a tip jar and something broke and I gave up. Did I really not finish? I sure didn't. All right, I gotta drop a tip jar in here. This is another one where you can just bartend, let the group know you're bartending. You know, do events. Anywhere you work in a role play community, it's a good idea to do events. Like, don't just go and stand. I even say this to the people at Faith and Flower. Don't just say, hey, I'm available available for brunch. Like, be creative. Like, hey, we're having sushi for brunch today. Have yourself a little sushi tray. Like, make things fun for people and you'll make a lot more money if that's why you're in it. 
Um, if you're just in it for fun, whatever you think is the most fun, go for it. Like, you don't have to ask us permission. It's a city. Like, would you go to the mayor and ask for permission to throw a happy hour at a bar? No. Just do your thing. <laughs> oh, cashier. Why can't I think of cashier? Why was I like, shopkeep? <laughs> Why is her butt out again? <laughs> she looks so bored. She's like, I am over it. <laughs> Um, what? <laughs> so yeah, my tips, one, lots of jobs where you can just start making money. Um, they're all usually on like the service end, but like building experiences for people is honestly worth it. It's something I pay for all the time. You guys know I like take flights all the time. I take taxi drives all the time. You know, I tip. I throw it out, I dish it out. <laughs> Whenever someone is gonna take the time to like enhance my roleplay, I'm gonna pay them. Um, but I would say in a roleplay community, and this is what like I think a lot of people who may possibly be new to it, kind of make the mistake of doing is just sitting around waiting for someone else to make your fun. And I think a lot of the times they just like look at the sim owners like to entertain them. It's like, oh, thanks for building us the city and like doing all this thing. Now just. I'm honestly not gonna be here to entertain you. Like I'm gonna be in the city also playing out my role play and having fun. And like, you kind of just have to like take control of it and figure out what interests you the most and just like do it. Have your fun, honey. <laughs> all right, shall we talk about businesses? How much time we have? We have all night technically. Like where do we have to be? It's not like we did our makeup today. Yes, B. So what we were thinking, because um, Reyna was like flying around the helicopter the other day and we were like, somebody needs to offer this as a service. <laughs> like, I think at one point someone did rent a shop to be like a travel agency. I feel like somebody needs to have helicopter rides. I would pay for that. One thing I would have to adjust though is security because what happens as you ride over some of these parcels, you're setting off people's security because they're parcel related. So I think I have to do a little bit of more work to make sure that security isn't reading up too high. But yeah, helicopter rides around base, I would be everything. I will even put a helipad. I know I have a helipad on the police station. Unfortunately, there's no stairs. So it's not like you could walk up there. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. First of all, excuse me, is this Zane? Is this Zane random? <laughs> but yeah, there's a helipad there. So we would just need one on the other side of Bayside. <laughs> I'm mad we were talking about helipads and that's exactly where you are. <laughs> I'm getting congested. Why does that happen? <laughs> yes, tragic. Have I showed you guys the police department? I feel like I probably have a million times. The police department's cool. And I feel like that type of role play keeps you so busy and engaged. I did remember, I forgot to change this back to the police group though. So we set this to the police group so people who are police officers can drive that whenever they want. <laughs> I'm stuck in this tree. Yeah, this is our police department. Again, it's zeal life enabled. So anywhere you sit in the police department gives you zeal life stats if you're wearing the HUD. If you're not wearing the HUD, it doesn't do anything. Um, we also have our courtroom in here. I haven't scripted this for zeal life yet, but of course we have judge spots. You could be a lawyer. I honestly am going to start dishing out the parking tickets. So at some point you guys have to just have a court date because you got too many parking tickets or you know traffic violations. I might throw on a police uniform and start chasing people around. The baby daddy? Mine? And then the next thing I do wanna talk about is having a business and doing something that way. So we have a couple that are kind of, again, a mix between role play and lend and earning. So this one, for example, this is a law office and we just came down, me and Eugene came down and like chatted with her yesterday. She basically rented a commercial space set up an office. She has a note card here with the type of services she offers. Um, and a lot of them are role play related, but like, it, it was really interesting. Actually, I'm gonna pull this up. I know my textures take forever to res. 
But also what I love about this, like the, these are the things that you have to do if you're starting a role play business. You have to make it very easy to get in contact with you first because you're not always gonna be here and you don't wanna miss someone who's interested. So she has options to drop in note cards. She has her contact information in there. And then here she has like some general ideas of what her services are. Cause a lot of times if people come into your business, they don't necessarily know, you know, how to engage with you, but she like tells you all of that. Yeah, the helicopter look cool. But yeah, see some of her services include like in-court representation, prenups, negotiations, general counsel. You can hire her on a monthly retainer. Me and Eugen, I think we're gonna hire her. I have a video coming out of me and Eugen driving around town and we're thinking we might need a family lawyer because we get into a little bit of trouble driving because you know, the best drivers on the grid. Our family is full of the best drivers on the grid. We need protection. Um, but yeah, that's how easy it is to honestly start a business in Bayside. All you have to do is rent a space and kind of go for it. So this is another business here. Someone has a gotcha shop. So if you guys don't know what gotchas are, usually stores create like non-copyable items. So you have a limited quantity, but you can transfer them around. So usually what happens is people tend to create spaces where they can just resell anything that they want in a gotcha. Because gotchas, they're usually priced pretty low, but it's like a chance thing. You don't pick what you're winning. It's literally like playing the lottery. So if people have extra product, they usually sell them. So this person here, they created a gotcha shop down here. I'm gonna let a little bit of it res. And they have like a bunch of products. So it kind of looks like a furniture shop. So it almost feels like role play. Like it looks like you're going into like a, like one of those vintage shops or like a, a furniture shop or something. And then outside they have these like cool little things where you can play and run, win random things. <laughs> what scene? I know I have to go shopping. And this is another cool thing for like role play. Cause a lot of times for me in role play, like the other day I was sitting with you and we were like, let's go down to Rodeo and let's go shopping. Um, so you're role playing going out and going shopping, like it's giving you something to do, but it's someone's actual business where you can purchase things and things are pretty inexpensive, like 25 London to play machine and win something cool and feel like you've gone shopping and role play. Take care, Joseph. Um, all of the shops have different prices. They vary. I think they're all taken right now. <laughs> so I have no idea. But they vary between like four to 800 Linden a week. It's not snowing here, we're, we're in California. <laughs> um, this is another one. So some of the spaces we have are kind of like business in a box basically. So this is a fast food chain, but there's a person who rents this and they can create their business how they want. They want to hire employees, if they want to just do tips, like you can kind of set your rules and figure out how you want your business to operate. And this is a really cool location because it's kind of a hangout too. And it's right outside of apartments. Honey, yes, we need mafia. My first ever sim ever, we were heavy on the mafia. <laughs> there needs to be organized crime in Bayside. Can y'all get organized? See, I did my eyebrows because I knew that these bangs were starting on my nerves. You can, depending on availability, Tara. So you just have to message Zane to see if they're available at your location. So send her your rental address. And then go from there. Yeah, it's KFC, but it says BUFC because I think it's from Bad Unicorn. <laughs> Yeah, can y'all organize crime? So when we first started Bayside, right, there was this idea of factions. I still feel like that can exist here. Just, you know, organize y'all crime, get to know each other and organize some crime. <laughs> Cause if y'all organize crime, that'll give something for the police to do. Or there might be corrupt police. I know if I play a cop, I'm gonna be very corrupt. I'm just saying. Um, but this is also, so this is a clothing store and I feel like she's, she's leaning into her market, honey, cause she sells a lot of Cupra clothing and y'all know I go hard for Cupra. So she has a bunch of Cupra stuff in here and she's another one who's very active in the community. So I see her here all the time. I see her in the role play group all the time. She's also in discord. So she's like, 
she feels like a part of the community so it really feels like i'm going to a locally owned store every time i go shopping here and i'm always shopping in here because her stuff is so affordable and it's so cute first of all i said her name right the other day uabami i don't know if i'm saying it right i, I assumed i was saying it right yeah someone rents it there and i i think they intend to make it zeal life too So that's my recommendation for community sims. Have rentals that aren't just about, because what I tend to see at community sim is all the rentals are only about like big name stores, but there is not much for people who are in your community to make a living. And like, that was our goal in base. Like, me and Ray like sat down and we're like, okay, what are our businesses gonna be all about? Like, are we gonna just go ask some people that we know that own stores to come over? And we were like, no, I think it would be cooler if our residents could make money in the community so we could have like our own economy. Like, you know, I want to be able to, as much as you guys pay your rent, you guys know if you have a business here, majority of the time I'm probably in there shopping or buying your stuff or hiring you as a doctor. <laughs> so I think that's also a cool concept in community sims. And it's your own business. So you can set up how you want. Even this cafe, I was gonna decorate it and then I was like, no, we'll rent that out. So someone else owns this cafe and I know they intend to make it Zeo Life. So they have a bunch of Zeo Life things in there. Honestly, we like to eat in Bayside. Oh yeah, this parking meter is now B. We got rid of licenses and we just introduced parking. Welcome to Los Angeles where parking is a struggle. Um, one thing I forgot to mention though with the parking meters, like we took names off so we don't know who's renting. So it's kind of like if you come across a meter that already has time left, you can just park in it. <laughs> yes, Arpia maid. We actually plan on having maids at the hotel. <laughs> oh, see it, Artera, that's yours? I love it. I know we have some commercial spaces over here. I don't know what they're gonna become. They already rented out. Do we really not have any spaces left? Oh, you know what's super cute? on Bayside East. Did anyone notice that Bayside West is technically to the east of Bayside? <laughs> so it's not Bayside West, it's technically Bayside East, but West Bayside sounded better. And I was kind of like playing on West Hollywood because that's like where I live. <laughs> so we called it West Bayside, even though it's on the east of the Sim. Don't look at the map. Um, somebody is opening up a salon here, which I'm super excited about because I've been low-key like hinting at people to open a salon because I want to go to a salon. We're just going to peek. I know she's not done yet, but I'm so here for this. I cannot wait for this. I will be here every other day. Can I also get a wax? Is that what this is? Yes, honey. My avatar will be uh, primping and pampering herself on the reg. I love this. It's not open yet. She literally, I just saw her in here setting this up today. There is so much to do. It really is just like, if you can think about all the things you can do in real life, you could do that in second life. It can be quite overwhelming, but just take your time. I can't remember what this is gonna be. That's gonna be something else. They just rented too. Yeah, Zane, if I'm not home, you know where I am. Who is this? Parked illegally? Oh, this is Eugen. I bought Eugen a car. <laughs> this is the car I bought her. I keep telling her she needs to offer like delivery. She needs to be like pizza delivery in Bayside in this car. <laughs> there is gonna be a spa in the hotel. So that's coming. <laughs> We're gonna call it a parlor, <laughs> cause it will be sketch. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? I like the maid thing. Um, you missed quite a lot, Antlers, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to see if Eugene's gonna start driving. This is why, it's cause Vanderbilt's best drivers in town. <laughs> no, best drivers on the grid, I forgot. It's so funny. It's one of those lush cars though. So it's a really cool like driving experience. Like you have to shift gears and everything. You have to actually like press the ignition to start it. It's so funny. And sometimes if you like crash too much, it stops working, it skids. It has that sound. You know how when your car stalls when you're turning the key, it has that sound. Hers has also the windows that have to go like that. Like it cracks me up. That's my favorite car. They don't look that pretty, but they're funny. 
This is another one that's a business um, owned by a resident here. And she has like a bunch of zeolite food out, a lot of places to kind of hang out. Upstairs, she has a fully functional kitchen. I really just try to open doors for myself and it doesn't usually work out. Oh my gosh. Okay. But yeah, this is a really cool spot. And this is also something that's just owned by a Bayside resident. You know, it's your business, so you can kind of do what you want. If you want to host events at your place, I know they plan on doing cooking classes. I think there's a, oh, it's locked. Um, but yeah, they plan on doing cooking classes and everything. So like, you could be as creative as you want to be. And I think that's really cool. Not anytime soon, Zoe. But yeah, and also if you do rent a business in Bayside, oh, I think we, oh, there are so many things that haven't shown. If you also rent a business, so what we're starting is every month we have our like Bayside Chamber of Commerce meeting where you can meet other business owners and you can also sit down with me and Reyna to kind of discuss business ideas or things that will help you improve your business. Maybe, colleges are so big. <laughs> Same, I want cooking so much. Um, this is another business. It was literally just like a little shack on the beach and she loaded it up with cool stuff. And I always see her here. She works here. She communicates with our group. She earns tips too. So she has donations over here and she just like serves as a bartender and it's super cool. I was just about to say this house is for rent, but it rented. That house just became available. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then we also have this like food court or food truck area. This is the one that I was talking about. This like a taco stand. So this is owned by a resident and she put out a tip jar. So if you want to earn tips or anything, you could always come work here. This is another spot I always hang out at because it's, most of the stuff over here is Zeolife. There's also a really cool pizza shop here. They have a tip jar too. I got a lot going on there. I haven't been to that one yet. This one doesn't look like it's open yet. And then I know B is opening one up. I think, B, is this the one that's yours? And B is our friendly neighborhood cannabis dealer for Zeolife drugs, because we're here for it. <laughs> this is my car that's parked illegally right now. So we'll pay my meter. <laughs> Why is it not updating? I don't know what I'm put here. This used to be our police department, but we expanded. I was honestly thinking of putting a car shop, like a repair shop for all the damage that I don't do to cars because I'm the best driver ever. Um, the next business meeting is actually this Saturday. So this Saturday at 11 a.m. We're, we're gonna send another reminder about it to the to the Vanderbilt Estates group. So just keep an eye out, but it'll be in the, like the police slash courthouse building on the second floor training room. It's because textures take forever to load on my computer. Apparently I need more RAM. <laughs> I laugh every time I say room because I have no idea. Yeah, there's a ton of role play communities for BU. I see those all the time and they probably work very similar to what we do here. We're Zeolite focused versus BU, but um, there's a lot of them. B, we were searching for you yesterday because Zane's health is so low. And I was like, Zane, you just got to find B. <laughs> Both me and Zane are sick. I think that's all I have. Like moral of the story is, you know, I've showed you this kind of through the lens of Bayside, but a lot of these concepts can be applied anywhere. Just like in a community or a role play community, you really just kind of have to take charge of whatever entertains you. And that'll usually connect you to other people that find it interesting. And just look at, look at you, Jen. And just always communicate with like the role play groups that are available where you can chat. Most groups have two different types. They have like an OOC group, which is just like general chat. And then they usually have an in character group, which is usually how people like call for police or you know, everything's in character and in emote. 
Yeah. We don't separate them right now. We have it all in the roleplay group because right now we're not seeing a huge need to separate them. If the need arises, we may in the future, but for now, it's all one group. Look at Eugene driving. She's so funny. Look at her looking backwards. Y'all be careful with her on the road. I know you gotta be careful with me on the road. We really gotta be careful with her on the road. <laughs> are you at the, are you at your, your truck? Zane definitely needs some. And that's another cool thing if you do Zeo Life because I think originally buying the scripts could be a little pricey and you spend a little time setting it up, but you can price that however you want. Um, and Zeo Life, those are the things that people have to continuously buy. I mean, granted, you could choose to buy things that are refillable, but I think for the fun of it, we like buying stuff. Like instead of having the meals that I can just keep refilling, I tend to go to the market and buy food every time I need to like grocery shop. <laughs> So I think there are certain things that like people don't mind spending money for, especially when they're completely kind of into the role play and in their life. I really want to see these logos. Coming soon, Brandon. <laughs> What's me, Nika? Ram equals memory. But what does memory do? Remember what my texture is supposed to be looking like? <laughs> I keep following. I'm like looking at chat like crazy. Meet you by the car. <laughs> Did you get your parking ticket? Your illegally parked car? I can't remember if I put meters in Little Tokyo. I thought I did, but I don't see any. I put one like weekly one. Are they really not here? I swear I put them over here. I've lost my mind. Wait, is this a motorcycle illegally parked and unlocked? Who's is this? We're stealing that. Somebody steal that. <laughs> it's getting a ticket. I'm gonna come out and do some tickets. That makes sense. Is that why it's taking me forever to res things? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's B coming to make a drug deal. So I mean, you could also make money that way. <laughs> I want to know where the parking meters went in Little Tokyo because we sure had some. They just disappeared. Do we have a business back here? I saw this rented. I don't think anything ever came. Oh, there's something back here. This used to be a tattoo shop. We have this little thing. I don't know if I can ever open this because I don't think we have the prims. I mean, you could also even work down here. I don't know what you could do. I never ended up putting tip jars because you can't really stand behind these things. They're kind of just for show. And there's always like those normal, like little jobs you could do, like babysitting or housekeeping. I mean, there are things that you could do from like your own home. I don't, I can't think of what besides babysitting. That's all I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> so come take care of my child. I am the best parent on the grid, but. I need to shove my child off on someone. My children? Do I have multiple kids? <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that's low on this computer. Everything else is good, but the RAM is lower than what my laptop was. Look at you, Jen. Where are your clothes, honey? Naked. This is your pizza. I'm gonna, she doesn't know it yet, but she's your pizza delivery girl. <laughs> Look at me looking at her. <laughs> I forgot about the twins. Do we have to commit to that? Can we just like only have a Kello for now and then I'll get pregnant with the twins again? I'm not ready for the kids. I'm not ready for three kids. Me and Akello went out the other day. This is what I was talking about. I need, I need all the services for my child. I need a nanny. I need um, a daycare. I need somewhere for her to go play. Where is she at? FYI, if you're not on my Facebook, I add stuff every day. So go join me on Facebook. But look, me and Akella were hanging out. And we were hanging out with Auntie Eugen. 
And this is when I bought her a car. I'm such a good sister. And we were driving around town. <laughs> I did capture all this on video. It is my goal to create a video of what we did that day because it was absolutely ridiculous. Did my video get stashed out from Facebook? Very likely. Thank you, Brandon. I feel like, Panda, we have to. Can we all just like, Mila has one child now. All right, so this is us driving. Facebook is terrible with quality, so it always looks super pixelated. But these were hilarious because she really couldn't get up this hill. Okay, she tried to kill us from the beginning. <laughs> yes, Panda, I saw that you're gonna open a daycare. Oh, that's another thing too. So we have on the same page, so the Bayside City Jobs page, we have this area on starting your own business. And what we'll tend to do as a city is if there is something that we can tell a lot of residents want, we'll um, offer grants, which is basically six weeks of free rent for you to build your business and get off the ground. Right now we have a grant available for a daycare. Um, just like as a demand and space becomes available, if we see something that we think will make a really cool business, we'll usually kind of push the idea out there <laughs> and offer free rent. Look at her. This is Eugen's fabulous driving skills because good driving runs in our family. Look at that. Perfect driving. Perfect. I taught her everything I know. She learned from the best. Like, so good. Look at this. And this car is so funny because you really do have to shift gears every second. The real struggle is getting up this hill. I, I really, I feel like I'm going to release that video because that was hilarious to see. And she totally drives on the correct side of the street. The whole street is the correct side of the street. Such a good driver. <laughs> best of the best. So good, it's astonishing. I'm just so proud of our family. <laughs> I think we even picked up Lit. Lit is our adopted brother. She stops at green lights, like so good. So good at driving, it's unbelievable. Like she literally stops at all the green lights. She'll stop here. Really, seriously, people Uber. Because what happened the other day, she dropped me off at the courthouse and disappeared, and I couldn't get home. And I had a Kello, and I was like, we can't walk, we need an Uber. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. I don't like children in real life. I'm sorry. I like my one niece. She's about it. My mom said my sister was cooking lobster, and my niece was like laughing and having so much fun watching them die. And I was like, but granted, she's two, she doesn't know they're dying. That's why I can't deal with lobster. All right, you guys. <laughs> that was super fun. That is all I have for you. I hope that helps spark some ideas on like how to spend your time in Second Life, how to work in role play communities, whether you want to just role play, have some fun and meet people, or if you want to actually earn some extra linden while you do all of that. Um, or if you have a community sim, you need some ideas on how to like create some of these business opportunities, then hope it helped. But you guys, I am going to be hanging out in Bayside for a little bit. I thank you all for joining. I had a bunch of fun. I hope to see you here. Major shout out to all of you guys who kind of came. We never, we haven't done our official opening of Bayside yet, but Bayside completely rented out. So thank you. It was, it was a very long time coming and a lot of work went into it. Keep your eyes out because the next part of the city, which is technically the monarchy, I know Bayside west right now it's called the monarchy but it's actually the real monarchy is coming it's a whole another sim but it's all the monarchy so keep an eye out for that that's coming and then just keep an eye out for each other and support each other's jobs and businesses and i hope to see your stories develop and i hope i better not catch anybody illegally parts because i am meter mating it up <laughs> but you guys have fun and bye